hard. But that goes. <laughs> mm. Aphrodisiac. Ick. Did that. Mm. Okay, she's on. <sighs> Hello, good people of the internet. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, my name is Alna, and I hope that you stick around. Even if you're not a perfume collector, you probably have that one scent that you use during the day and one scent that you use during the night, or more specifically for when you go out or for special occasion. For me, they are many, but here are a few. This is La Nuit Trésor by Lancôme. I do want to preface that this was reformulated in 2019, but the bottle that I have here is the 2015, the original that came out, so that's the one that I will be talking about. I remember when I got a sample of this I got so intoxicated and just went straight to the store that I actually would end up working in later to get it. It's smoky, it's seductive, it's intoxicating, it's mysterious. There is vanilla and coffee in this that really comes through but then you also have that floral softness from the vanilla orchid and the black rose. And then you have the perline and the caramel that gives it this added sweetness and of course you get the smokiness from incense. Personally, I really love incense and I use Palo Santo here at home and whenever I burn it, I get a little giddy <laughs> because I like it so much. This has maybe been the one that is most complimented of the bunch. The projection isn't that strong, but it does have a good scent bubble, so anyone who stands close to you or hugs you will definitely smell this. And that's what has happened for the compliments that I've gotten on this by people that have stood close by me or people that have hugged me and if they did hug me they would hug me and go in for a second sniff and then followed up by oh my god you smell so good the longevity of this is also amazing i would spray this as i went out and i would wake up in the next day and still smell it on my skin now that can be both good and bad of course if you're a little hungover the day after that going out scent doesn't really smell all too well anymore Girls Can Do Anything by Zadig and Voltaire comes off as a very vanilla heavy scent, but the tuberose adds that creaminess and rich floral feel to it. If you saw the video that I did about what Perfume Talk made me buy, you would know that I talked about Juliet Has a Gun and how I have a very sensitive nose to Cetalox that is in Juliet Has a Gun, not a perfume. This does have Ambroxan in it. That gets overpowered by everything else that's going on in this, like the vanilla, the tuberose, and the tonka bean. I remember I was so obsessed with this when I bought it, so much so that I would wear it to work as well, and I would get complimented a lot on it there as well and it just made me feel powerful like a boss lady and that's exactly what it smells like too without being too overpowering but like you got your things together you know also like la nuit trésor this has pear bergamot and tangerine in the top notes so at first sniff it might be a little reminiscent of La Nuit Trésor. Then the tonka bean vanilla and the tuberose takes over and takes it in a more earthy, richer, creamier, and powdery direction. The only one intense by Dolce & Gabbana is a repeat from another video that I did, the one that I did about vanilla. And like I said in that video, this is more considered a floral scent than it is a vanilla scent, but on me it becomes very warm and gourmand. Get that fresh hit at first, but then it dries down into this creamy floral goodness. So to me it is a sweet, warm, creamy floral scent. Like I also mentioned in the video that I did all about vanilla, this was my going out scent for a little while and another one that I got complimented on. And the compliments that I got was that I smelled edible. So there you go. So I mentioned in my dupes video that there are some scents that I have steered clear of because I've made up in my mind that they don't suit me. So I've steered clear of that and their flankers. And YSL Black Opium is such a fragrance. This, however, Black Opium Le Parfum is a game changer. Now, I'm not a fan of the original Black Opium on its own, meaning when I have it on a test strip or on my skin. On others, it smells delicious, but this one, because of all the vanilla it has going on, it really works on my skin, and when it dries down, I have it on my hand, it just turns into this creamy, sweet vanilla latte, and 
The coffee note in this is very faint, but it's just icing on the cake. Whenever I wear this, I pair it with the Chirosa 40 by Sol de Janeiro. Ah. Signature Absolute by Mont Blanc has actually been the going out scent of this summer. It's a floral, tropical, and rich scent. It starts off with this fresh hit of mandarin orange and pear, but also a little kick of pink pepper. Before the frangipani, Ylang Lang and the tuberose gives it this creamy, rich, fruity body. And the tonka bean and the cedar gives it a little more depth. And all of this makes a creamy, seductive, mysterious scent. For me, this smells like generational wealth. And who doesn't want to smell like generational wealth when they go out, right? The tuberose is very prominent in this. And I'm going to get a little educational for a sec. Tuberose is actually a very polarized note. Either you like it or you don't. Like I've mentioned in other videos, I like jasmine. I also like the gardenia and mandarin orange as well as tuberose. And all of these are in the family called white florals. Now I'm gonna get a little scientific for ya. What all of these have in common is that they have a chemical compound called indole. And here's a little fun fact. Depends on your definition of fun, but indole is present in fecal matter. A what? Yeah. Let that sink in for a sec. If you've ever felt a fragrance smell a little dirty or like a diaper or like straight up poop, that's the indole. But it is important to note that indolic notes are considered heady, narcotic, sexy, and are used in fragrances to make them exactly that. Heady, sexy, seductive, and like an aphrodisiac. Speaking of aphrodisiac, this is Absolute Aphrodisiac by Initio. It is an honorable mention because this is a decant, but like the other scents, this also has white florals in it. It also has other animalic notes as castorium, musk, and amber. And that head of vanilla makes it into this seductive, sexy, and aphrodisiac scent. It's also an honorable mention because I haven't worn it that much, but I have worn it on occasion where I felt extra spicy and I have gotten complimented on it. Ah, oh, it smells so good. So that was it for today's video. I really hope that you liked it. And if you did, then please give it a thumbs up. If you like me, then please subscribe. I also wanna give it a little shout out to everyone who has subscribed lately. Thank you so much. I am so honored that you have chosen to follow me. So until next time, bye.